Hello, hello everybody and welcome to Pokemon Flux, a new Pokemon series that was... This game is made by the developers of Pokemon Uranium and today we're gonna play it. I'm so excited for this game. So this is only episode 1 of the, of the game. There's still, there's still new updates on upcoming. So yeah, it's all down to this folks. Who will win in the final match of this season of the Pokemon Altera League? Will Champion Alistair hold on to his title, or will Challenger Brian take the title for himself? So just like I said before, the, uh, this game is made by the developers of Pokemon Rainium. If you don't know what Pokemon Rainium is, it's one of the best fan-made games that was ever created. Although it was, I think it was banned? I forgot. It was, it was a game a long, long time ago. It was, it was a peak game of all time. Huh, so you certainly put up a good fight, but you're no match for my team's firepower, Alistair. Um, we'll see about that. What's this? It looks like Alistair has activated his Flux Bracer. Could he be putting everything he's got into one final attack? Deatrix, let's end this razor sharp stone crash! So, one of the Pokemon from Pokemon Rainium is returning to this game, and I'm really excited for this. So yeah, um, make sure to leave a like and comment what you guys think of this episode, share this with your friends who loves Pokemon, and might as well subscribe if you really mean the world to me, and I really appreciate if you guys do it. So yeah, who knows what surprises the next league season will bring. So yeah, I'm really excited for this game, like guys, and it's been so long since I've been playing Pokemon or uploaded any YouTube contents on my channel since I've been so busy studying for the finals and now it's done and I'm I'm actually pre preoccupied right now so I'm actually pre right now so I have nothing to do I'm just gonna chill out and make some YouTube YouTube videos since I miss you guys as well so yeah, in the region of Altera, three friends will soon embark on a journey with Pokemon. This adventure will define their futures and decide the fates of more than just themselves and their friendship. What trials and discoveries await them? What new friends and adversaries will they meet? The future wait, but first, who are you? So we have three protagonists. This guy looks cool. I mean, he got a... F I mean, this, old, this guy's also cool as well, but... It's kind of hard to decide which one should I choose. I mean, the goal, the uh, the female protagonist is also cool as well. I guess I'm gonna go with this guy. Yeah, let's go with this guy. I'm gonna name this Ritz. Welcome to Altera Ritz. Tomorrow today you receive your star Pokemon, but tonight, the night after the Altera Pokemon League Championship, tonight is the night your journey truly begins. Man, that fight was amazing. No surprise Alistair won though. He's a champion for a reason. He's so cool. Always so focused, even in an intense battle. Hey Ritz, what do you think? Pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah, the, the Flux move was very interesting to be honest. Maybe a new mechanic for this game? Yeah, that final attack. He saved up all of his Flux until the very end when his opponent was weakened. And POW! No one controls Flux like Alistair. That's what makes him the champion. Man, I hope I can battle him someday. Get real, he will wipe you out. Besides, we're, we're not even trainers yet. Yeah, but will be. Starting tomorrow. Help, help! Did you hear something just now? Sounds like it came from inside the park. Yo, what, what are those things? Yo, alter Pokemon here? They've got their families around it. Mom, I'm scared. Don't worry, sweetie. These trainers are here to help. Trainers? What? We're not. Don't be afraid. Ch Champion Astler? Don't worry, I can handle this alter Pokemon. Although... You treat. We'll be happy to be Pokemon trainers. Not exactly. We're gonna get our first Pokemon tomorrow. 
I see. That's not a problem. I have three Pokemon here with me. I'll lend them to you so that you can help me drive this Ultra Pokemon away. You mean it? This should be well suited for young trainers like you. You too, come quick. Sky and Terra both receive a Pokemon. Oops, I accidentally opened my phone. I was sorry about that, guys. Yo, I, I definitely remember this too. They for Pokemon Rainium, Selkin and Luna Pop, I guess. So cute. You as well, come here. Oh, you want me to come? I forgot. Awesome. Tell me, what's your name? Brits, huh? Well, Brits, this Pokemon is for you. I think it suits you. Brits, obtain Minion. Minion? What's that? Oh, wait, the bad Pokemon. Yo, looks like we got our first starter Pokemon. I trust that the two of you can handle those weaker ones. Brits and one will take on the boss. Alright. Yeah, let's do this. I'm super excited for our first battle. Yeah, I kind of want to replay Pokemon Uranium as well, dude. Like, it's kind of giving me a nostalgic feeling on Pokemon Uranium. Like, really. Pokemon Alistair send out Deatrix and Dominion. Ultra Pokemon are similar to other wild Pokemon. Command your Pokemon to fight and use one of its moves. I'll do the same. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Acid. White Guard. Attack your team, the wild. Tanskior. I think Tanskior is Dark type. Keep wearing it down. Dude, I... I'm take uh, I'm, I'm take this guy's taking like a little damage from his minion, dude. Okay, I'm, I'm okay, man. Looks like we get to see what Flux move will look like. Oh, looks like we're gonna get to see it. An actual battle, dude. That, that's so amazing. Yo, so basically Flux move are like the moves. Okay, wow. We're safe! Thank you, champion. I just happened to pass him by. Any decent trainer will have done what I have did. Were there ultra Pokemon here of all places? That is concerning. Normally they wouldn't attack so close to the city. I'm traveling to South Nexus. I make sure they know what happened here. In the meantime, you should hurry home. Try not to stay out so late after dark in the future. Well, looks like we're gonna returning this Pokemon. Phew, that was intense. This Pokemon really held on their own, though. Yeah, I feel like we really bonded in this battle. Too bad that they have to go back to Alistair. Actually, I think you should keep those Pokemon I'll let you. I can sense the bond that you share. You mean it? Indeed. They are the offspring of my own Pokemon that I race. I think if they travel with you, they can reach your maximum potential. Wow, did you hear that Lunapop? We're partners now. You three, you said your, po your journey as Pokemon trainers begins tomorrow. You have a very important responsibility and it's up to you trainers, like us, to defend Altero. Otherwise, the Ultra Pokemon will make life as we know unsustainable. Get stronger, deepen your bonds with your Pokemon, and learn to use blocks. Who knows, maybe I see you in the Champions Arena next time? Until we meet again, the future is in your hands. Farewell. So that is what it feels like to be a Pokemon trainer. Yeah, that was intense, really. I know, right? My heart is pounding. I don't know about you, but I'm beat. Me too. We should head back home. You're right, tomorrow's an important day. 
We're gonna make up early so we can get a Pokemon from Professor Reed's lab. He'll be shocked when he hears what happened tonight. I can't wait to see the look on his face. It'll be hilarious. Come on, let's go. I was just gonna... I thought the game was freezing right there. Okay, so you're my first Pokemon. Should I give you a nickname? Uh, nah, no thanks. Someone's calling. I should answer. Wait, what? Oh, wait, you... Oh, they added diagonal movement. Look, so, well, that's so cool, dude. Yo, this game is gonna be amazing. Like, I can feel it. But we're gonna go for automatic running. We also have some mi mirror punching. Dr. Reed. Hey, Akito. Today's the big day. I didn't want to wake you up, so I came down to the lab early to get everything ready. It's what your friends are already waiting inside, too. Come downstairs as soon as you can. See you soon. Yeah, sure. Wait, I'm leaving to a professor? What? Okay, that's you. Only trash is in here. Now, yeah, normally there should be a, a potion right there or some kind of item. But no. Rich, you're finally here. It took any longer. We're gonna get our Pokemon without you. That's not true. Dr. Reed wouldn't start without all of us. Good, the three of you are here. And especially good morning to you, Brits. I trust you self slept well. Glad to see you're all on time. I trust you're all prepared to get your first Pokemon. Now, hold on, hang on just a mo moment. Couldn't we just all of you have a Pokemon ready? How? Well, you see... You what? Ultra Pokemon are incredibly dangerous. And without any experience as trainers, you could have been hurt. It turned out okay though. Alistair was there. He probably could have taken all those all Ultra Pokemon by himself. I know it sounds bad, Professor, but we never in real danger. The champion himself trusted us with this Pokemon. I suppose. It was fortunate that the champion was passing by him when he did. And while well, defeating Ultra Pokemon is an important part of being a trainer in the Ultra Pokemon League. So, are you still going to give us Pokemon or... Yes, of course. Even though you already have a Pokemon already, a promise is a promise. Come, follow me into the lab. Well, he took that well, I think. Come on, what are we waiting for? Now, as you know, the, po the Altair Pokemon League has approved me to distribute po Pokemon to new trainers. It's my honor to present you with your first Pokemon, is what I said. But all of you have a Pokemon ready. Oh, come on, Froth. You still mad about that? No, I'm not. Just a bit surprised is all. Now then, have you decided who will be choosing first? I don't mind if you go first. I'm just happy to have Lunapop. Hey, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm fine with letting Brits go. That way I can pick the one that's stronger. Alright then. Let's no one say that this was spiritism at work. Brits, go on to your Pokemon. Yo, okay, I'm so Moss, the Leap Moth Pokemon. Oh, dude, that is so cute, the Moth Pokemon. I guess that's a bug and fire type, a bug and grass type, and that is not good, actually. On the other hand, Chicklet is actually pretty good. Chick Pokemon, and then we got Findolf, the Dolphin Pokemon, who has four legs, apparently. Oh, it's either Moss or Chicklet. I don't really like the design of Findolf. Yes, yeah, either this too. I mean, Moss could be really... Could be like a real challenge to the game since it's four times it's four times weaker to fire types and flying types as well. I think I'm gonna go with Chicklet. I mean Chicklet could be evolved to a flying type Pokemon and could be four times weaker to rock type. Same goes for Moz. I don't know what second typing will Pindle will have, but I guess I'm gonna go with probably Chicklet. Yeah, let's go with Chicklet. 
Made up on my mind, huh, Jacqueline? No, I'm not gonna give it a... Uh... Hey, congrats! Now it's my turn. Yeah, it's definitely gonna pick Findle. Yep. Wait a minute, Sky, you already have a water type Pokemon. You could have just gone for Moss. I reckon this one's mine. Terra obtained Moss. If I remember, Lunapop is a ground type Pokemon. This is great. I'm all fired up. You know what? You know, guys, want to know why? Why I know Lunapop typing, despite the game being so long, since I actually just recently finished playing Pokemon Reunion. But I didn't actually recorded it though, since it was kind of laggy, and yeah, I couldn't just get much views from it since it's an old game. So yeah, this is great, I'm all fired up. How about we make this official? Brits, I challenge you to vote Pokemon Battle. Two on two, Altera League style. Let's do this. Yo, this is actually the first Pokemon Battle where... 2v2, two, two two. like really, that's actually really cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with Acid, and then Scratch on Selkid. I'm gonna take on Selkid first, because since Minion has a Poison-type move, this indicates that Selkid could have a Barret, a, a Water-type move, see? He has one. So we're gonna take out Selkid first. We're gonna go and take out this guy down. See, he killed me yet! I, I mean, Chicklet! God damn it. Yo, ain't no way I'm losing this fight. I can't even heal. Yep, I lost. God damn it. Ha! I win! It was totally awesome fight, Brits. Your Pokemon are strong. Don't think I'm letting my guard down. I know y you'll beat me one of these days. Fuck. Yeah, I kind of want to restart that that battle. <laughs> I'm not really good. I'm not really good at accepting defeat. Now that you both have that out of your system, I need all of you to listen carefully closely. You may have your Pokemon that there's more than to do be before you become official Pokemon trainers with Altera League. You three need to head out to Condor City and report to Altera League headquarters. There you can register as official competitors and receive your Phlox Bracers. After all, using Phlox is the mark of any true Altera and Pokemon League. Pokemon Trainers. One last thing before I forget, here you three take this. I trust that you know what this is for. The, po the Pokedex will help you identify and record information on every Pokemon species. It's an invaluable tool for any startup trainer. Plus, filling it out will be a great aid to my own research, so I hope you will try to complete it if you can. To help with that, I'd like you to have this as well. Pokeballs, okay. This more than I could say, but I sense all of you are itching to begin your journey across Altera. Hey Rob, you read my mind. Quite right. Just know that you're always welcome to visit my home anytime. If you want to know how your Pokedex is going, feel free to call me. So, is that it? Can we go now? Yes, yes, so full of energy. You're free to go. Go explore. Although, a word of caution. Adventuring will be thrilling, but it's also dangerous, particularly the Ultra Pokemon. Now that you have your own Pokemon, you should be able to defend yourself. Even so, careful not to get in over your heads. Well, be careful, Professor. Quite right. Well, I shouldn't be keeping you any longer. Go on, then. Your journey awaits. Wait, Brits. I'd like to work with you in private. The two of you go on ahead. I'd like to say some word on my kid. Wait, that's my dad? What? Brits, I just wanted to say... Although I may not be your father by blood... 
you are my family and I love you dearly. I know that you're smart and capable and resilient. I just added and again. I'm sure you make a fine Pokemon trainer. Feel free to call me anytime, not just by about your Pokedex. And you should already have my personal number in your phone. I'll give you whatever support and advice I can. Okay, that's everything I have to say. Best of luck on your journey, Brits. Yeah, thanks. Yo, what is that Pokemon? That looks so chunky. I really, that's really cool. I mean, I'm so excited for the game, dude. Never gonna let us go. Now that we have a starters and Pokedex, we can finally begin our journey. I'm gonna go register for the Pokemon League. Last on Condor City is a rotten egg. And there he goes. Brits, let's meet him Wobbler Park. Remember you still owe me a battle. I'm looking forward to it. Yo, ain't gonna lie. I think this is gonna be so hard to battle, dude. But yeah, let's go to Wobbler Park. Uh, I assume all my Pokémon are fully healed. Yep. Yes. Hey, hey! Do you know how to catch Pokemon? Of course I can! You say that, but prove it. Show me by catching a Kabami. I'll give you a reward if you do. What the fuck is a Kabami? Yo, there's roaming Pokemon! I presume this is the Kabami? Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely the Kabami. Oh, Humber. I guess not. Uh, let's go with acid. Yeah, we def I definitely need to get level up. I don't want to battle uh, Terra with my weak Pokemon, especially two of my Pokemons are weak to Luna Pop. Yeah, I, I, I de if I read the description earlier, Chiclet isn't a flying type, but a fire type. So, yeah, we're gonna have to train all my Pokemon to defeat. I think I'm, get I think I'm planning to catch Humbert. Like, this guy's pretty chunky. Like, really cool design, dude. Like, it's really cute, to be honest. Yeah, we're definitely gonna catch this guy. Never mind. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to catch Humbert. Cabami. I think this one is Cabami, I think. Cabami. Yep, I was right. Cabami. Oh, that's so cute. That's a hamster. Uh, I went for fucking Astonish. Okay, let's go with Acid. And then we're gonna go with... Okay, what kind of reward you're giving me? Eh. Not really that worth it. Uh, but thanks. I thought you're gonna give me some potions. Uh, I could really use one of those. Hey, profat. Hey, nurse. Yeah, we're gonna 
Yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh! Open! Yo, I'm definitely catching this. Yo, it's a fairy type! Of course I'm gonna catch it. Cares if I had another flying type. This guy, it, this this Pokemon is amazing. Like having a fairy type on early is a good, it's a good plan. Actually, that is a, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna catch this dude. Your mind open. Okay, 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 forgive me. It's really awkward with saying his name. Like, really awkward. If you're Filipino and I, you hear this word, you probably already know what Oten means, right? But yeah, it's really awkward to say it. Now, back to grinding. I still have to get to level 10. Or at least level 9. I think there should be enough to level up Chicklet. Okay, I still have to set up a plan though on how to beat Terra. Cause Luna Pop is a, gonna be a big problem on my team on that on battling her. I mean I guess I can I can pretty much counter mods with Humbert and Chicklet, but not Lunapop. So, yeah, Lunapop is the only bad. It's gonna be a bad problem. It's gonna be a problem on, on that on that battle. Like really, it's gonna be so bad. I think I feel like I'm gonna lose the fight if I. So I still have to come up with a plan, especially when my Pokemon are have like bad, really bad stats. So yeah. Oh, there it is. There she is. Hi there, Brits. It, it's time we had our match. You promise, remember? Ever since you battled Sky in the battle in the lab. I have been excited to test your skills myself. What do you say? Are you ready for my our match? I can heal you first. Yay! Oh, that is exciting. Here, let me heal your Pokemon before we begin. Yeah, thanks though. I mean though I already feel like a Pokemon. That arena up there should do nicely for our battle. I hope you won't underestimate Brits. I may not have Sky energy on your mind strategy, but my Pokemon are strong. I believe in them. Just I did just as they do in me. Here, we'll show you. Your <laughs> Fuck, it's a double battle, god damn it. What does play nice do again? Let's go with Luna Pop and then we're gonna switch with Humber. <laughs> Screw you, Terra. You're not gonna beat me this time. Then we're gonna spam and go back on Squirmy. He actually went for Hall. That's not good. Well, it's good days. I just went for Play Nice again. <laughs> back to your. Yeah, let's go for another Play Nice and then. Back on Squirmy. 
I really like Luna Pop though, it's so cute. And now she went for another haul. Play nice. You're not gonna Oof. Accidentally one sh one shot at it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. It's gonna go with helping hand and let's go with fair. Yo, oh wait! A fighting ground type? Oh, dude, that's so cool. Okay, let's go with quick attack. Should probably enough to watch on it. Yep. Nice. Didn't even lose any in a single Pokemon. Looks like we lost. Definitely prepare for that. I definitely prepared that battle. Well fought, Brits. Looks like you use your type matchup to your advantage. Plus, your Pokemon clearly trust you, that's what really counts. I still believe my team. We might win next time, so don't take us for granted. Now that's over with. I saw Sky passing through like a rocket a while ago. He said he will wait for us all at Terra League headquarters in Connor City. Meet us there and we will all register for the league together. See you soon. Let's go with Ember. And apparently there's still two trainers on uh you saw earlier before the guy this flying guy just disappeared. Yeah, looks like Whoa, what is this Pokemon dude? Is it a steel type? No? Probably just a flying type. Or it could be a poison type. But we'll never know. Uh, looks like Humbert is catching up. Yeah, never mind. Yep, Humbert already catch up to me yet. I definitely have to. Level up this dude. I still have to battle this too before I head to Condor City. I mean, it's like it's almost like an hour now. But yeah, we can still make it though. Let's go with acid. Oh, I could have done for fake out. Gosh, I'm so stupid sometimes. You know, that is useless. Let's see. Oh, yeah. They gave up so little at speed. Like, level up should be enough to, like, level up some of my Pokemons. But probably not in here. Every time I read that name. Every time! Every single time! Yep, one shot. There we go. Easy. But I didn't actually got minions to level up though. Despite those only three Pokemon, I still didn't even level up. What a shame. I kind of wanted to catch this Pokemon, but I'm 
mean, I already had a dark type. I mean, Minya is dark and poison type. So, it wouldn't make sense for me to have two dark types on my team. But definitely going to keep Ulten on my team, though. I mean, Sir Siren Grace is a good, good ability. Sky has a Humbird, I will definitely gonna have to PC Humbird as well, since I don't really like having Pokemon as the same as my rival. It's just plain weird if I had one. Okay, let's head to Condor City. We got nothing else to do here, so yeah. Let's head to Color City. Yo, what's this? Okay, don't really need it. Oh, we also got a little cutscenes here. Wow. That's so cool. That's a great feature in this game. Condor City. Actually, it's, it's a great feature to introduce a city. Not gonna lie. If I remember that the building you're standing on has a gym gym badge, oh there they are. I was right. There you are, Brits. I knew you will take long. We're finally here. Delterra League Headquarters. Once we're the Jester, we've officially become League Trainers. This is so exciting. I mean, this whole day has been exciting. Still, my heart is pounding like crazy. Should we go inside? I see no reason to wait. Come on, let's go! Yo, wait up! Wait for me! Is that... Champion Alistair! Shh! Don't interrupt! Don't you know who that is talking to? That's the lead director himself. I see, I see. It's like that, is it? Seems like Ultra Pokemon attacks are becoming more and more frequent. This is why now more than ever, it's important that the region has a strong champion. So Alistair, please! I recognize what you're saying. My answer still is no. I won't participate in the next league tournament. Did you say what I think? Alistair dropping out of the league? But he's a champion! Alistair. You're the most powerful trainer in the region. The steely master of the sky. So many trainers all across Altero look up to you. I can understand why you're just walking away. I'm sorry, but my answer is final. Besides, there will be other strong trainers. In fact, some of them might be even here in this room. Ah. Is it looking this way? Okay, still calm. Act normal. Those three. Won't they happen to be the tra three trainers you will tell me about earlier? That's correct. Though they did not yet have Pokemon of their own, they helped them fight off the Ultra Pokemon in Wobbler Park. Perhaps you should place your hopes in someone like that instead. Alistair. I can send there's no convincing you to change your mind. That determination is what brought you to the championship after all. Still, should you ever reconsider, you know my door is always open. I appreciate it. Thank you all you have done for me, Al Aquila. Perhaps I shall return to the league one day. Until then. Wait, well, you're telling me the champion is retiring? Wow. You three take care take good care of those Pokemon. Sometimes it takes firm hand to raise them to their fullest potential. You gave me a worse Pokemon. That responsibility it isn't one taken lightly. 
but I believe you already have the right instinct. The future of Alter Pokemon is yours now. Farewell. Did that really just happen? Alistair's not gonna participate in the league anymore? That's too bad. Briz, didn't you say you wanted to battle him someday? Excuse me, you three. Well, well, what a way to ruffle some feathers, eh? That Alistair is so headstrong. He reminds me of myself when I was a young trainer. Where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. My name is Aquila Altair, director of the Altair Pokemon League. But please, just call me Aquila. You three. Alistair told me all about you. He did? Why, of course. It's not every day that you find someone with the guts to stand up with wild Altair Pokemon. Without a Pokemon by your side, even. That courage and determination, those are the skills that make a great trainer. You three, you're here to, do, to register for the league, aren't you? Yeah, we are. Thought so. Now normally, that there's a lot of paperwork involved. A background check, an exam, but if you have a sponsor from the within the league, none of that matters. And it just so happens that champion, uh, former champion Alistair bouts for the three of you himself. Excuse me, Mr. League Director Alter, sir? Ay 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 ay! How many times do I have to say not to call me Mr. Altier? It sounds like my brother is so stuffy. Just call me Aquila. Very well. Director Aquila, here are the trainer cards you requested. Thanks. I'm sure you're familiar with the family business Alter Corp. My brother Antares and my sister Andromeda runs it. But as for me, I never had the head for the corporate stuff. Now that Pokemon battle, that what sets my heart ablaze. It gave me such hope seeing bright youngsters like you. Here, take these training cards and begin your adventure. Whoa, it's so shiny and new. And that's not all. It's my honor to present you with my family greatest intention. The mark of all great Alteran Pokemon trainers, your very own Flux Bracers. That Bracer is the most useful tool in trainers arsenal, other than your Pokemon of course. I had to explain what I mean but I think it's best done with a live demonstration. Which of you wants to try it out? Brit, how about you go for it? Not that I'm nervous about battling the, the director or anything. I know it's alright, I know that Brit will give up a whole head. He, you got this. So it's you. Before we begin, I'll teach you all your Pokemon a Flux move a free of charge. Alright then, let me show you the miracle of Flux. Yo, we get to see the Flux move. Slot. Yo, oh wow! Yo, I kinda want this Pokemon. Now, Flux is an incredible discovery. It has many uses here in Altera. In this case, when exposed to Flux energy, Pokemon can unleash incredible moves. Now that you see that bottom in your bracer. Selecting this will let you check your FP or unleash a Flux move. Why not try it out for yourself? Yeah, later. Let's go and fake out. Oh, that's Flux move? So basically, uh, electric field, right? Wait, what? Oh, that's too bad, I guess. Uh, let's go with Soul is Shade. We're gonna have our own Flux move as well, dude. Soul Shade! Yo, that's so cool! Nuzzle. Oh, that's not good. We gotta throw it acid. Oh, too bad. Okay, I'm gonna go with Ulten. This armored voice. Yep, it's enough to take it out. And they both... 
hold him. Level up. Nice. Hold gloss. Uh, I kind of need it at the end. Ah, that's the stuff. I may be retired from Pokemon training, but I do enjoy good battle now and then. Now I'm sure you noticed that these Flux Bracers are rather basic. But they are capable of so much more, follow me. This Flux will allow you to power up your Bracer. I didn't actually go into pronounce this because I don't know how to pronounce it. Chaos? I don't know. Press your hand against the receiver and you see what I mean. Alright, this is the Flux Chaos. It lets you upgrade your Bracer to raise its max FP and unlock new function. This upgrade don't cost a Pokemon dollars, instead they use a special currency. Flux shards. Right now you don't have any flux shard, I will give you some. Here, there you go. Great. Now that you have some flux shard, time to upgrade your bracers. Why not start with increasing your maximum FP? Okay, nice. Nice, your flux bracer just got stronger. There's other fun upgrades you can get to, like unlocking new flux moves or useful tools that help you out in the wild. But I'll let you discover those for yourself. I'm sure you figured out by now, the way to strengthen your flux bracers is through defeating Alter Pokemon. That's the reason we have the lead to begin with. Altera depends on brave trainers like you to keep its citizens and Pokemon safe. So we wanted to reward the greatest among us with fame and fortune. That does make sense. Most people wouldn't wait risk their safety without reason. Hey, you're a pretty smart kid, you know that. I bet you go far. One last thing you do know how to Altera League works, don't you? No. Altera League works a little different from other regions. Rather than collecting gym badge, trainers compete out of one another to earn league emblems. There are three league arenas across the region, one in Rooktown, one in Cornwall City, and one in Cardinal City. Trainers who gather all three league emblems can then compete in championship and tournament here in Condor City. For trainers that are just getting started, most head north to Rooktown for their first challenge. You can learn even more about how the tournament works on Alba Academy. Alma Matter, ah, uh, that brings back memories. Well, I dare say, I talked long enough. Race your Pokemon, defeat the altars, and climb the racks of the league. Fame and adventure awaits you. I'll be rooting for you. Now, if you... Well, excuse me. That was unexpected. Looks like it's official. We're fully fledged trainers now. So, uh, where was it that Quilla said we should go? Rooktown? Rooktown is no north of here. Now that we're official tr lead trainers, they will let us through the gate that leads to Gold Coast. Personally, I don't think we're strong enough to challenge the league yet. That's why I plan on stopping at Alba Academy. Oh, that's a good idea. I bet we can learn all kinds of stuff there that make us better trainers. But first, I want to explore Condor City. I know it's close to home, but I feel like I never got to explore it properly. Ah, uh, that's alright. There's no rush after all. I want to split it up for now and meet up again at Alba Academy. Sounds good. Alright, I'm out. Catch you all yet later. I get going too. See you all in Alba Town, Brits. Well, that is all for today's episode. Ah oh, man, it was amazing. That's all I can say, this game is gonna be amazing. So yeah. I do hope you guys do enjoy this first episode, because this is going to be an amazing series. Even though it's only for beta, but I know if there's an update, it will actually just gonna go auto-update it. Just like in Pokemon Reborn. You know, the, like the... There's an update button, you can just click on it and just automatically updates the game. So yeah, that is all for today's episode. See you guys on the next episode of the Pokemon Flux. And if you guys do enjoy, make sure to like and comment what you guys think of this episode. So yeah, peace!